it's laid about springtime, grass is out, man, the birds are chirping, get spring showers, smell the honeysuckle just a blowing. Hey, get these wood barrels to come in. Hey, take your old handy dandy hat here and see how far orbit you can go. TV. I'm your host Gary and uh, I hope y'all like that little beat clip at the beginning there. Uh, yeah, on today's episode we're going to tear the front doghouse off of this Bronco and uh, get it ready for a motor to go in. So we're going to work on that. I got it pulled up to my little shop here and and there's also rain coming in, some storms, that'll be the next few days. Oh well, but yeah, 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 yeah. I'm always up for all this excitement that goes on around here, so stay tuned and we'll uh, look at working on this here. I'll just watch. I uh, just went through and actually strapped my hood up. Got it out of the way. Uh, uh, next will be the battery here. Get it out of the way. Alright. There's my little hood prop temporarily for the director strap. Little spring things work. I went there and unbolted them. So you'll have to do that when you're right to strapping your hood up. Just yeah. All right. 
Now, let's see if we can just take everything off of the front of the Bronco without taking everything off else off of the Bronco. Oh, I need to disconnect my headlight, my horn, my marker lights. Get all those unplugged. Any ground wires, you want those unplugged. Okay, well, go well, ahead and got these bolts out here, and then right down here, and then using the bolts, kind of back behind the lamp here, it goes on the bracket on the fender here, there's one you can kind of see down there, right where my finger is, uh, and there's one right up here, and then you want to take these little bumpers here out and then the two screws there you want to take out your inside lock latch and then do the same over here uh, and don't forget your ground wires on both sides and then all your lights and your horn Alright, that she should be ready to come off. Okay, well, I just happened to realize I got two more screws right down. Let's see if I'll get a visual. There's like one right here. There's another one. I thought I seen. Okay, that's kind of about the tip fender. Right. right in there, can I see it? But it's down there on both sides, so get those taken off and
But as I'm looking at this, I think I might just go ahead and leave the fenders on. Because I can get to it right here pretty easy. So I might probably just go that route. Yeah. I just go this route here. Then that way, I ain't got to take these fenders off. Because they're not really in the way. This old front part was kind of more in the way. And my head was more in the way. But I got that pushed back. I got this out. So now I can get to it way a lot easier. So yeah, we'll just uh, leave it like this. And They had this uh, like a three-inch body lift kit. It actually came with Bronco, so I got kind of lucky on that. I might probably actually need it for getting this motor in for the clearance. Okay, well that's gonna about do it on this video. Uh, there's the maker front. See which boats I had to take out. Turns out it's actually the bottom boat down here because it's not even connected to the fender part and you can leave this bottom ballast on and uh, this other boat is actually bolted to the fender oh it's bolted to the ballast and the fender but also the radiator support too uh, But yeah, that's going to do it on this video. Uh, I got some more coming your way. And it looked like I did beat the rain, so I got lucky there. Uh, man, I was getting excited. But stay tuned and look out for more videos only here on Farm Power TV.